Now Hart is in the studio until February, and you can see as much time as you have to spend on one band. You start adding multiple bands, this gets a little convoluted. Uh, so let's see. Let's go back to our band here. Maiden, Profile, Discography. Well, let's go to shows first. All right, when does this start? Starts on January 30th. Okay, so we've given them a couple of weeks off. What is our, they're back up to 93. Another week we should be close to 100%, so that's good. And profile, discography. record sales All right so now we've sold 14,000 out of 22 we only sold 7700 this week I don't know what the shelf life of an album is I know it's finite it's not like uh, dark side of the moon that'll sell for four or five years I mean you, you we may get a few sales here and there but it, it, it definitely has a, a downward trajectory. Um, we did see with their first album, we did see a slight uptick in sales. Uh, you know what I would like to do? Um, let's do a new release. A single. Okay, let's go ahead and release uh, Wrathchild back with Innocent Exile. Oh, let's go with, uh, no, we're going to keep that for the last one. All right, we're going to continue that. Uh, and I cannot... Not sure how to release worldwide, but that's all right. All right, so we'll release that one right away. Uh, all right, so we're going to drop that in. We're not manufacturing. Everything's going to be di digital streams. So we'll continue that. And word of mouth, confirm. Thank you very much. And let's go ahead and advance that. So these, these episodes could go a little long. They could be a little short, just depending on what's going on. I kind of want to get to the end of the life of this. But we'll probably end it when Heart, Heart's album is just about ready. And then we'll... All right, so wanted to go to Maiden show last night, but 20 bucks is way too high. All right, so the new tour has started. We sold out. Evidently, the price wasn't too high for most people. And we made $3,800. Profit City, boys. Profit City. Right, so that's good. So we're at 6.6. .6, so we're making some scratch. Let's go to my office. Uh, let's go to finances. Current year. Uh, let's go to last year because this year just started. We're at the end of January. So January of last year, we had $8 million dollars. We ended the year at 6.3. Now, we were making steady income except for a couple of months. That was the three months that Maiden was in the studio recording. So what you want to try to do is stagger. I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, you know, if you, if you make $20 million in one month and then bleed out a little bit every month and you end up at $10 million, isn't it the same as if you make $5 million a month and still end up at $10 million with your expenses? I think it all works out the same on your tax return, right? Uh, expenses, 
All right, so like there is your, there's our 100,000 for signing heart. There's the million for re finishing the recording of Maiden's album. Show costs, you know. So Hart's album is going to be a lot cheaper because we did it a different way. Um, I don't know exactly how that's going to affect the quality of the songs, but we will figure that out. Uh, let's see. Bands, Maiden, Profile, Discography. All right, so Wrathchild is coming out. So we'll go back. Uh, Murders. Let's look at their record sales. So we still sold 273 singles last week, all digital. 1,384 worldwide. And I don't know what digital streams does. I don't know what that does for us. Um, yeah, I don't know if that makes us any money. <laughs> don't know if that makes us any money all right let's go back uh to the album so we sold 5784 records last week so we're now 17 out of 22 so we've only got 5,000 left and we just sold that so we're at 72 this week. So we're still a top 100 album. Let's uh, let's manufacture another. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go 1500. Yeah, I don't want to add 10,000. That would suck. 1,000. Okay, well, tabbing's not working there. I got no idea. Hello. Well, I'd rather go under than over like I did last album. So we'll continue with that. We'll go back, close, we'll go another week. Exciting to see your band get better and start producing a little more. And then we'll wrap this up here in just a second. Hopefully some of you guys watch to the end. All right, I'm losing reputation. And again, I think this is something that needs to be changed because as a new label, you can't get a number one single because, A, you, you just don't have enough money to sign an existing band. Uh, and uh, so there's no way to reach these reputations. Uh, let's see. All right. Let's view the tour. So it looks like we were thousand out of a thousand eight fifty two we still made two grand on that show right now again we don't have enough money still to put into lights and pyro and everything else um well my grandbaby weighs two pounds four ounces not born yet but uh she saw a, a new uh, OB today, and she seems very excited. She's had some bad luck with doctors uh, during, you know, for this pregnancy. It's her her first baby, my first grandbaby. So um, anyway, uh, she seems very happy. So if she's happy, I'm happy, and uh, if Dad's happy, that keeps doctors uh, from being in trouble anyway uh this was not oh that's not right i was looking at the whole again that shows the whole thing uh a sellout there so we're making it right at five grand a show selling out so now what we can do is we can go up to 1500 seats we can raise the price to say 23 24 dollars for a short short tour see how that goes you know uh, now, the other thing I want to look at is uh, 
Uh, well, let's look at the record first. How did we do this week? All right, Wrath, when is that coming out? I forget. Okay, I don't know. So it's not out yet, that's fine. But the album, so we sold 4,600 this week. We're number 82. We've got 4,000 left. I'm gonna go ahead and not manufacture any. I wanna go ahead and sell out and then we may do another run of say 5,000, but I don't wanna do that until we know that we have to. Uh, an overview of the album. So we've actually made a half a million dollars on this album. I wonder what that does to Let's look at the profile of the members. Well, let's see. Overview, skills attributes, contract. So they have three albums left. Okay, so they have now generated, uh, well, out of the advance that we paid them, they owe us $165,000. So they've made almost a million dollars in income but they still owe us money for everything that we've advanced for recording, signing them initially. Their income, so their net income right now is $19,400. Okay, that is cool. Um, let's back out of that. Let's look at the members and let's look at the singer. Not that, I'm double clicking, that's what's causing that. <laughs> All right, so now we have a net worth of 776 bucks. So they've been on three or four tours. They are on their second album, five singles, and she's made almost a thousand bucks. So that may give you some understanding when you read these stories about bands that say, man, we sold millions of records and yet we don't have any money. It's because, you know, Def Leppard, for example, uh, on their Hysteria album, they spent, what was it, $8 million at that time on production. And that's money that the typically the label pays up front and then the band pays them back. You know, it's, okay, we've given you $8 million. So the first $8 million generated in, in sales of that album go back to the record company uh and that's just based on the contract that, that they sign so you know that's that's kind of you know maybe that helps understand a little bit all right let's go one more week new record sales you can see it working there a developmental offer so this is where we have an outside writer so I'm going to reject that. I'm not interested in spending any extra money on them. Uh, let's see. Let's take a look at Heart real quick. And again, these may be longer episodes. They could be shorter. Just depends. Um, all right. Activities. All right. So they're recording until... Man, my phone is just blowing up. Um... I can't, I can't do a release until I have a song. Um, so, yeah, we have to wait till they're done, which will be on the 19th. Let's hop into Maiden here. Go back into discography. All right, Wrathchild has released A- rating from the critics. Fans give it a B. It's already made 1800 bucks in sales. 828 uh, downloads, 12,000 streams. I don't know. Is that like watching it on YouTube or something? And am I getting any money from that? I want to go back. Well, record sales. So we sold 3,800. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to manufacture another thousand this week. Let 
we're number eight. So we, we're not dropping immensely. I mean, we're six weeks on the chart. We're still a top 90 album in, in the U.S. That's good. All right, let's look at... Not that one. Profile popularity. That's what I want. So you can see we start off with a Z everywhere. So we're up, you know, from an uh, F. I don't know. I don't know if we go from E to F or F to E, but we're E's across the board here. So that's good, I guess. I mean, we're making progress. Uh, and let's look at our shows. So look, remember, these were all thousand seaters. So four more sellouts. Uh, we've made $27,700 on the shows. So that's good. We've kind of found our niche. I'd like to go up a little bit more. Now remember, don't cancel a tour because all of these areas, so Maine, so the Northeast, Illinois, the Midwest, California, the West, you will lose popularity in all those areas. Just see it out uh, unless you're just bombing completely because then you're losing popularity anyway. Uh, let's go one more week and then we'll probably call this an episode. And then I can like stop my phone from smoking. All right, album status. All right, the album is done. Okay, so we'll walk through this one more time. Uh, just to help you guys out. So we are going to record, uh, release this as... Uh, let's release an EP. All right, so I'm going to drag this over here. I am going to bring up this. All right, so Hart's first album was called Dreamboat Annie. We don't want to release our first album yet so i'm not going to worry about it, but this is where i pull all the information i just go to wikipedia pull up discography and i can pull up each album and it gives me the track listing the order the whole nine yards um this is where uh so like i this is a song where i that i could maybe bring in one of those uh second uh you know song song offers that you get and go yeah okay we'll buy that one and that's the one that we would name that um but anyway that's that's where i'm getting all that but since we're not doing anything with this this is again i'm treating this kind of like the songs that they've been working on in their garage and it got you know it got enough attention for us we're going to release it as an ep uh, a minimum of four songs maximum of six so you can see the quality's pretty shit. But I expected that. But that's why I went with the cheap production, no producer, bare bones cost. Uh, this this basically cost us nothing to record. But one, we'll go with this one, that one. I'm not even going to change the names on these just because, you know, we're just trying to put something out there. Let's do a five song EP. They're all, well, we'll do a six song. That's the maximum. Um, and they actually, their, their 1985 album, Heart, is the one I was talking about. But let's call this one Wanna Be Heart. You know, this is, we don't even know who we are yet. Uh, they're all hard rock. That's fine. I don't care about the order. I'm not going to, this is where you would rename songs. You would double click on it here and that gives you the ability to rename it. But we don't want to take any of the songs from their legitimate albums. This is just to get them started, right? Uh, we're going to go ahead and release it. Continue. Uh, we're not going to manufacture any physical copies. We're going to do all live streaming, all stream and download, digital download. All right, so we can downsize that, advance through there. All right, so we're back here. Let's take a look at the tour. Uh, whoo, that looks like it was a dud. 
Club Temptation. 162 out of 900. Got good reviews. We haven't played out West a lot. But then we came back the next night and sold out the L.A. Spotlight. And we have another California and then an Arizona. Tell you what, let's finish out the tour. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, so let's go back here. Uh, heart. Oh, we need to go into heart uh, activities. So they're at 100% morale. Uh, where is the album release? It is right there. So let's do some media. We are going to put uh, general promotion. We'll go there. General promotion here. General promotion there. General promotion here. And just trying to get the word out about the band that, hey, this band does exist. All right, so we've got all five of those. And you notice I have you can specialize in certain areas if you want to. I don't think the media cost anything. So we'll just, you know, we'll do that. All right. Um, and then what I want to do is let's go ahead. Um, all right, the EP comes out on March 2nd. So we want to do a single from the EP. Uh, let's do Shake and Majority. And then we'll reverse those so the best songs on the A side. All right. We'll release this one on March 9th along with the album. Or maybe a week before the album. So March 9th. Let's remember that. Um, I don't think we want to do any. We don't want any physical units. All right, and then we'll do another new release for a single off of the EP. And that'll be You and You. Um, mm, no, let's do You Two. You Two, band that I don't like. Don't hate me for it. Continue. Make sure the best one's on top. Uh, March 9th. So let's go four weeks later. So April 6th. And then. We'll put that one out. And then one, two, three, May 4th. Let's put a thousand units on this one. We'll spend a little bit of money. It's a thousand bucks. It's the third. It's got the best song. You know, we'll release it third in the trio. So did I just, oh no, it was May 4th. And then let's create a set list. Uh, this is uh, EP one filter by EPs, and we're going to just add them all. Confirm. Uh, well, you're pretty screwed then, aren't you? Oh, you know what? Then we can do uh, any. That's cool. Um, majority, a heartbeat away. So let's add that one. Yeah, it sucks, but that's okay. We'll add that, and we'll add that. Should probably put those early, but we're not gonna. And let's book a tour. And this is going to be Discover Heart. I don't know why. We're gonna tour the US, EP1, Dreadful, 
uh let's go with uh seven dollar ticket prices no bands so that's fine and then we want to go less than 500 and then we want to click on capacity so i'm thinking Arkansas, Colorado. Well, actually, you know what? Let's see. If, if we go... Fort Smith Lounge. And then we'll go to Little Pub. Maybe we'll just hit, you know, local regions and build up slowly that way. Another hundred seater. We'll skip a day. Give you know, give them a day off. Don't want to work them to death. All right, Arkansas. Then we'll go over to Bama. Go to the Bama bar. Need a, a you know, just a day to drive down there. Let's hit Friday night. Then we'll hit the pit stop on Saturday. Oh, that just sounds like a great place, doesn't it? I am not going to the Old Town Lounge with thirty people. Uh, that is not happening. Arkansas, Connecticut, Delaware, uh, nothing in Mississippi, huh? No. Well, I think that's good. That'll give us an idea. That'll give us a taste. That'll give us a taste. And then we can figure out where we're at. So we're going to finalize that. And that gets us done with them. Let's check Maiden one more time. Uh, discography. All right, Wrathchild. How are we doing on sales? Sixteen hundred this past week. Twenty four thirty five total. It's made thirty nine hundred bucks. That's good. The album Killers record sales thirty three hundred last week. Fifty seven. 50, 57, 53,000 total. And I think I'm going to go ahead and 33, 33. 33. Let's go ahead and do, uh, shit. I'm going to manufacture... 5,000 and we'll call that good all right guys well what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and probably try to get Hart through their gigs for their first tour see where we're at with Maiden at that point I may get them back into the studio and uh, that's where we'll come back for the next episode I hope you guys are enjoying this let me know what you think, and uh, hey, hit the like button for me, subscribe if you don't mind, and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.